What is up, everyone? That's how we say it. That's what how, is you, you just say it like that? Yeah, yeah, no. That's what you're saying? Out of all the lines you could start with, you're like, what is up? What is up? How's it going, everyone? We're back again right. with another video. Right, well, and a list. You like lists. Lists are orderly. They're organized. We've, They're things you can do. You can do alphabetical lists. A, B, C, D. And you can do numerical lists. One, two, three, four. And you can do... What we've got today are the five best whiskeys to give your boss that aren't Blanton's. Will, what's the number one question you get text about from your friends? Hey, I'm giving my boss a bottle of whiskey. What should I give him? Right now, I don't want to just, I don't want to limit this to a boss. A brother in law. Right. Father in law. Right. A father. You're about to propose to somebody. You probably have to do B Tech. We didn't do B Tech. Why didn't we do B Tech for all this? Why didn't we just do the whole line of B Tech, Will? Well, because we want something that's still kind of accessible. So these bottles are going to be things that are elevated in their presentation. They're elevated in the whiskey that's inside of them. And right. they're also relatively gettable. So number one on the list of great gift whiskeys is... What? Oh, that's a good one. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. This happens to be a single barrel barrel proof that was picked for Southern Whiskey Society. This is king. This looks like a king. Right. It's kingly. It comes in a decanter already. And it's got like a necklace. It might as well be a crown. The uh, This one specifically is 133.2 proof. So high proof, good bang for your buck. Delicious. They're typically around 130s. Delicious like high whiskey. High 120s. Also comes in at about 55 to 65 bucks, depending on where you're buying it. Right. A nice mid-range, not going to crush your wallet, but the presentation's great. The whiskey inside is great. It hits all the factors of a great gift bottle. So this is our number one on the list of gift bottles. Fire, dude. What do we got next, Grease? I think we've got another bottle, Will. Let's hear it. I just don't know which one because I can't remember what you're going to say. Well, Will, I've done this bottle before. And you know why I picked it? Why? Because it's in a tube. You're obsessed with tubes. I it's, love it. It's tubes. literally the reason you do it. But this is <laughs> E.H. Taylor Small Batch. So well, here's the deal. What do we got? If you're, you're at the office, right? And you're like, man, I've got the Christmas party coming up. What do I do? You text Grease and you say, hey, Grease, what can I get? And I'm like, E.H. Taylor Small Batch, if you got it. Here's the deal. A lot of you people are going to be like, dude, where do you come from where you can just go get E.H. Taylor Small Batch? If you can't find one in the store, if you don't have a good relationship and put some feelers out there, but hey, buddy, man, next time you get like five of those, I want to get them for gifts. And you just stockpile them. You can find one of these by your end of the year Christmas party. Yeah, and if you can't, then somebody's got one that you could trade for or pretty, pretty low. We have four other whiskeys on this list. You got Yeah, you've got <laughs> so four more options. These, But this one comes with an ashtray. 40 bucks MSRP. It's great presentation and it's a known name that people are going to be excited about when they open it. If you like paying taxes, this basically, this thing faux, has faux tax strip. Yeah, this this has a little, you know, nod to you. Makes you feel good about paying taxes, but not actually paying tax. I mean, there are taxes built into the price. Like, you can thank Alexander Hamilton for this right there. Well, not specifically. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton! That was that was on pitch. Don't even act like that was not on pitch. Yeah, we're gonna get demonetized for that. Next on the list is your name's Will. What will Will bring to the party? Will it? This will it is will it will it do it? It will do it. This is Will it small batch rye. So this is the four year rye. Right now, Will it it's always, the easiest one to get. Right. Just get it in there, dude. Just get it in there. there it man. has the crest, the Will it crest. It is the family estate bottle. And this four-year cast string. If you're gonna rye, get a tattoo, that's what you. That's what. That's it. Right, right there. There's your tattoo. You don't even have to pay somebody to draw it. The four-year cast string rye 
is delicious. It's also relatively easy to find compared to other Willet bottles, such as uh, single barrel bourbons or even single barrel rice. Like these are out there. They're sending them out there, and they're also pretty affordable. In our area, it's about forty-five bucks. They can, I'm sure, vary market to market. You can't spell Willet without Will. This is a true statement. Mm. All right, what do we got next? We got something, and I didn't want to show it yet. Here's the reason. Okay, so I love tubes. You, you know do. that. You love you love vessels of which to carry your whiskey. Yeah, so, I mean, you're all going to probably... I mean, there's a theme to tonight. Yeah, if, if, Grease, yeah. if Grease picked it, it comes in something. No, but that EA said a small batch. It comes in a tube, but it should come in a tube. It's not like it's, we need the tube to sell. So what do you got, Grease? Something in a box. Okay, so what? this is a Knob Creek. This is the 15-year. It's a limited edition. It was 100 proof. Came out in 2020. This is about a hundred dollar bottle. Now it comes in this wooden box with a like a plastic uh, plexiglass kind yeah. of front thing. Now I would go ahead and say that now this is a hundred bucks. Um, it is really good whiskey. It's it's a great find as far as like uh, Knob Creek store picks. This is only a hundred proof. There's 15 year store picks you can get for about yeah. half the price. We're not necessarily talking about the whiskey in this bottle because. You know, rewind a year ago, you could get 15 year picks at 120 proof, so closer to the integrity of the whiskey straight out of the barrel. This one's limited to 100 proof. So, if you can't find something exactly like this, Knob Creek is a Jim Beam uh, product. Right. So, there's also Booker's, yep. which also comes in a wooden box similar. Some people will just sort of like Booker's freaks. Yep. There's like two people out there that are like, I don't like Book. That's one of them. That is, n that is not true. He may be. I'm the truth nader. You don't know what he says off offline. You don't want to know what he says offline, actually. Let's just leave it offline. What do you mean? Yeah. I'm always online. All right. We got to go to our final whiskey gift bottle. Look okay. at this. No. no. Look at this. Nope. This Are is you stupid. kidding me, Will? This is the dumbest thing you've Look ever Look at done. it. It comes no. with a it comes no. with a book <laughs> on the first. You love First of all, books. that's not a book. That is just words. Well, it comes with two uh, toppers. What else does it come with, Dreve? This is awesome, dude. I don't care what you see. Look this at look at those most, spirals. This is the most extra whiskey I've ever seen. Look at that topper. Now, here's the deal. This is not my pick. So, there's another stopper that's a pistol. Um, very interesting looking. This does not, this does not, not I, functional. I wish I, it, I wish it did work. So Grease, have you ever had this? No, I have not. Then you need to open it and drink it right now. Because part of our criteria, and if this, if this passes our taste test live, then we'll leave it. If not, I've got a backup that's a better option. I feel like this is going to be very big on secondary. Hang on, what kind of cork pop we got here? That's a, I mean, that's pretty good. It had like a secondary pop. Okay, so let's just say, yeah, I've, ne I've actually never seen this. Okay. It's a little, little hard to maneuver. Okay. You having trouble putting your gun in there? Yeah. <sighs> the rumor has it. That this There's is, no rumors. There's rumor. This is, uh, this is from a dead gum good source, okay? Some say, this is five year MGP. You smell that and you tell me what it is. Oh, that smells like pine. I, all I get is pine. Tell me that's not pine. I swear if this whiskey sucks, I'm going to be so upset. Cheers. Cheers? What? Have you have you had it yet? I'm about to. You normally say cheers before you drink. Do we? Okay. I think, you go. Hang on. Because it has a gun top, should we shoot it? This is Murray Hill Club. Where this, is that? Where is that? So this is made by Joseph Magnus. Right. It's uh, they have the same. Pretty accessible. It's a very pretty bottle. So the the packaging is there. Um, it is a, a bourbon whiskey blend. So it's a blend of different straight bourbons. When they say my budget's about a hundred bucks, I want something really good for a present. I say if you find Murray Hill Club, it's something out of the normal that people don't just see every day. They're not going to necessarily grab for themselves but they will be very happy that you got it for them. I haven't, I don't even know about this bottle. Well, you're dumb. You should try it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's. How's that, that finished? 
Uh, it could have some finished whiskey in it, but it, it's not expressly. It's oh, a, it's a blend. Okay, so it could. It could. 103 proof, uh, delightful whiskey. Really big fan. Well, that's going to do it. Is I don't it? know what we did. We did a list. I don't remember it's it. It's a good list. I'm going to have to watch it back. Folks, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That's free to do. Right. Subscribe somewhere down here if you like the content we're providing. Ring the bell. You'll get notifications. And join us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash the podcast. With a K. That's right. At the end. We're giving some bottles away soon when we hit uh, a certain number of subscribers. We're also 50. doing We may some... have already hit it when you see this. We're also but, uh, doing some merch. We got some merch, merch giveaways. There. That's right. There's a lot of levels. Town Hall is my favorite because we get to hang out with you guys directly, and it's a lot of fun. Right. We have a lot of new Town Hall folks that have told us how much they enjoyed it. Right. So uh, go ahead and join that level if you want to get to know us a little bit better and hang out with us in person virtually. Uh, but other than that, right? I think we crushed it. I think we we shot it. Okay, so like at the end, yeah. there's gonna, you know how they put the bugs and stuff on there. So you have, yeah. So you have to point. No, you got to look at the camera. And be like, hey guys, <clears throat> hit that thing. Hit this thing. <laughs> There's going to be other videos that we do. Dang it. Yeah. And then...